Welcome to Statics Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we are going to solve another problem on parallelogram law of addition of vectors. Now before I move on I request to you to please watch the video lectures on statics in sequence as in the playlist. You will find the playlist link in the description or also you can click here. When you watch through the playlist you will understand the topics very well okay because my video lectures are interrelated to each other. So when you will watch step by step, you will understand better. Now coming to the problem, determine the formula for the magnitude of the resultant vector of two perpendicular vectors. Okay, it is asking to find the formula for the magnitude when the two vectors are perpendicular. Okay, now let, let us draw the perpendicular vectors. Let us say this is one vector and let us say this is another vector. Okay. Let us assume the angle between them is theta. Theta is the angle between them and because they are perpendicular vectors, it means the theta is 90 degree, right? 90 degree. Let us say this vector is P, right? And this vector is Q because you can see everything is in P and Q, P and Q. Okay. Now, According to the parallelogram law of vector addition, let us say R is the magnitude of the resultant vector, it is equal to P square plus Q square plus 2 P Q cos theta. Okay, this is according to the parallelogram law of vector addition. Okay, now if you don't know about parallelogram law of vector addition, I have already made the detailed video lecture on it. You can click here to watch that lecture. Now, resultant of the now we have to find the magnitude of the resultant vector okay if we know the resultant will be between them right now this is the magnitude magnitude of p vector square plus magnitude of q vector square plus two times magnitude of p magnitude of q multiplied by the cos cosine of angle between the two vectors okay so but now right now we have angle theta is 90 degree right so here we have cos 90 degree right now what is the value of cos 90 degree it is 0 right so cos 90 degree is 0 it is multiplied by 0 right so 2 pq multiplied by 0 all of it is 0 so i will erase all of it so what we are left with r is equal to whole under root of p square plus q square so which one is correct option option a is the correct option okay so this way we solve this problem if you have any doubts please comment and see you in the next class thank you